what do we want to know and what do you... I have to compare between mainland plants and native plants. So native Oregon plants and native Hawaii plants. Yes sir. Mm-hmm. No more? <laughs> um, and then... This grows in Oregon. It's juniper. Oh, it, it does? Here. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, do you want to know about the different plants, these plants, or? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't even know the names of these plants. You want to know the names of them? Yeah. Okay. This one is our state flower, Hawaii state flower. And it's uh, Ma'o. I'm recording. Are you recording? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is Ma'o Hau Hele. The Latin name is Hibiscus brachynergii. There's three subspecies and it was chosen as our our um, Hawaii state flower. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Not, not all yellow hibiscus are, are native, but um, this one is. Hmm. And not all are state flowers, but this one is. Okay. Next mm -hmm. one. This one's kind of wilting, but this one's called Aiea. And the town of Aiea was named after it. Paiea? Aiea. It's called Aiea. Aiea. Oh, neat. Yeah. And this one. This one here. It's, it's only a small one right now, but it's in the tomato family. Mm. And it is it is endemic to Hawaii. In fact, all these are. We're going we're gonna to go across here. Endemic means? Found only in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's Indigenous in means can be found here as well as other places, too. And just for the record, again, 90% uh, of the plants in Hawaii are are found nowhere else in the world, naturally. You got the flower over there, does that matter? No, uh, no, it doesn't matter. Ancient Hawaiians used to use this uh, on their boats, the gunwales on the boats, the very top of the boat, but they would cover the wood with this. They also like the, um, the wood for other kind of interesting things too, but it's extremely rare. That's an endangered species, that's an endangered species. This is an endangered species. <laughs> Hawaii is the extinction capital of the world. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this, this little gem is in the hibiscus family. You can see the resemblance of the flowers looking like hibiscus. Um, and the name is Ko'o, uh, excuse me, Ko'oloa Ula. Ula in Hawaiian means red, but as you can tell, not always the flowers are red. Sometimes they're this color. Mm. Okay, excellent, beautiful lei uh, flower too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen leis made out of these. Just they're mm. stunning. The way they do it, you know, they kind of kind of oh, alter it. They stick it out. The yeah. flower sticks out. Okay. Everything is. Yeah, the whole flower sticks out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this one back here is called uh, Aali'i. And Aali'i, or uh, Dononea viscosa, is the Latin name, is, uh, was one of the most important plants for ancient Hawaiians, early Hawaiians. They would use the wood, it's extremely hard to wood, and they would use it for their houses, especially posts and beams in the houses, or on the roofs, anything that needed uh, strength and structure, they would use uh, Aali'i. And Aali'i has... No more flowers on it now, but they have little flowers that the uh, early Hawaiians would string as uh, lays as well. Uh, Excuse me. Did you get that? <laughs> I get everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, go, I'll just walk back here. Um, this is our, na our native cotton. Our native cotton is called ma'o or gossypium tomentosum. And tomentos means fuzzy, so it does have fuzzy leaves. Like Uncle Dave is fuzzy. Right? <laughs> what's, what's neat about this plant is that our native Hawaiian cotton actually helped to save the cotton industry. When they cross this one, which produces really no cotton, just little brown fuzzy seeds, when they cross this with a mainland one, they get a superior cotton strain. 
It resists pests and diseases and fungus, which is a real problem. So wow. our own plant, native yeah. Hawaiian plant, help save cotton Do that on my face. This is the flowers of the... <coughs> yeah, this is nalpaka. Oh, this is nalpaka. This is nalpaka uh, kahakai, or excuse me, uh, kui, kui hiva. Mm. Kui hivi. Nalpaka kui hivi. Or skivula gaudachadii. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, and there's a there's a legend um, of the nalpaki. You know the the half flower, right? Mm -hmm. Where two lovers were separated. One went to the coast or to the beach, and one went to the mountain. And they took the half flowers. They took one flower and they split it apart and went their own ways. So mm -hmm. that's why, if you look at the flowers real real close, you can see they look like they're only half flowers. Mm. Right? Okay. I'm used um, to the white one that they have. It's yeah, the beach one. Same, the same variety. Yeah. Both There's, endemic. And yeah, both? this is endemic. Uh, the one that we see at the beach is indigenous. Um. So it's found at the beach here in Hawaii, but it's found other places around the Pacific. And those little white fruits that you see on them float in the water. Oh, and so, fly all over. Yeah. The other 10 species that are found here are endemic to Hawaii. This back here is, this is called Pili or Pili grass. Oh, that's the Pili grass. And this is the grass that the Hawaiians preferred to make, um, to cover their uh, houses with thatch. They, they preferred Pili, especially. Um, the dangerous thing about Pili is, if I can find it, is that they got these little harpoons. I don't know if you can see the little harpoons right there. Oh. And you can see how they're barbed. Ew. Those things uh, will stick in like a bird or something like that and that's how it gets transported around. Those little things like that. Okay. Mm. These are undeveloped seeds that you see here. So what the Hawaiians would do, the ancient Hawaiians, they would take off all of this and then dry out this and then use it for thatching, leave it as thatching. Huh. Pili. Um, heteropogon contortus. <laughs> What's that? That's, That's the, the Latin, Latin name. Latin. Oh. You need to know those, right? Or, or not? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, this is one of the um, plants is called uh, Ko'oko'olau. And uh, Ko'oko'olau is, um, there's different varieties here in Hawaii. It's in the uh, um, sunflower family, and you can actually take the leaves and brew them as uh, a tea. nice tea. Yeah, a tonic. Oh, that, that's different from the one with the purple flowers on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So moving on. <laughs> ah, it's raining. Uh, it's, well, okay, this is this is a really extremely rare plant. This is in the hibiscus family. You gonna continue? Sure. Okay. Um, and it's called Hibiscadelphus distans. And I'm trying to find a flower because the flower is um, unique to the birds. They have a curved flower. Mm -hmm. And so the, the Hibiscus, Hibiscadelphus has a curved flower too. And that's how they get pollinated. Oh, that's the, 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 the beak of the bird is curved. And it right. In it. Like here. You yeah, can there you go. That's a, that's a dried one. So it's curved. Yeah. Hello. And hibiscus means brother of the hibiscus. Okay, that's okay. good. Okay. <laughs>